Hi guys, Evan here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video as well as my first how-to video. So bear with me if I do make mistakes. This is a test run, but not only a test run, informative as well. Right, so today we're going to be looking at the Mycelium Bitcoin Wallet. Uh, you can either download this from the Play Store or from iStore. Uh, we can click on the Mycelium Wallet. It's going to take some time to load. What I like about Mycelium Wallet is uh, it's a very secure and safe wallet. Uh, you are in possession of your private keys. There's no third party involved. So if you lose these keys, unfortunately, you'll be losing your funds as well. Right. It's asking us here, do we want to restore a backup or create a new wallet? So today we're going to create a new wallet. It's going to take another few seconds to load. Mycelium is really a great wallet. Um, I purely use Mycelium only for the safekeeping of my Bitcoins uh, for no other reasons. Right, let's quickly have take a look here at the options. Uh, you have accounts. Uh, this is basically um, your main account. You'll be asked to back up this account. Uh, the reason for backing it up is if you lose your phone or your phone gets stolen or it gets damaged, that you can actually recover your wallet and um, get your Bitcoins back on a new device. So uh, then you'll have the balances option. You can either send Bitcoin, receive Bitcoin, or you can even buy and sell Bitcoin if you if you like to do that. I don't use the buy and sell option on my Cilium as my Mycelium wallet is purely for the safekeeping of my Bitcoins and I don't share my uh, Bitcoin address with anyone from this wallet. Uh, you'll also be able to view your transactions. If there are any transactions, you'll be able to view them. Businesses, it just gives you some info here about Mycelium and their partners. They also support cold storage such as a Ledger and Trezor, which is amazing. Uh, address book. Yeah, you can add family or friends or address uh, addresses that you use on a regular basis if you want to send funds to them. Right, let's go back all the way to the account section. This is what we're going to be looking at. Uh, backup uh, is missing, so we need to create a backup for this wallet. Unfortunately, um, for security reasons, once I do click on the backup settings to back my wallet up, it will not uh, be recorded by the screen recorder for safety and security purposes, which is another great feature. Right, so uh, just listen to the instructions and I'll go through, through it with you step by step. Uh, we click on the backup missing, create backup. It says here you should Back up the master seed of your wallet. This is very, very, very important. Don't store it on another device that can get stolen or whatever. Um, it's, it's recommended that you write these words down on a piece of uh, paper with a pen. Store it in a very safe place. You can even create two copies of them to create it at two different uh, or store them at two different safe places. Okay, right. So let's go on here. You'll select yes. Then it's going to say master seed backup. This is very important. Um, it's going to ask you to tap the button below to start. It's going to show you um, the first word. Then you basically write down these words, uh, next word, and you just continue until you have gotten all the words written down in the same order, specific order. Um, right, let's quickly go through this. Then it will say set up verification. So now it's going to ask you to basically enter the words from the first word to the last word one by one. So once you've done this, it's going to, you'll be able to confirm uh, the backup. So right, now we go back. I didn't back this wallet up because I'm not going to use this wallet. This is purely for demonstration purposes. Um, now we can go back to the balance. Once your wallet is backed up, great stuff. So now, even if you lose your device, gets damaged, whatever the case, you can retrieve your Bitcoins with no hassle at all. Um, 
Okay, like I said, here you'll be able to send Bitcoins. You can either scan QR code, my addresses, manual entry, the amount of Bitcoins. And then what I love about Mycelium uh, is the transaction fees are actually very low. You can go to the minimum, which is low priority. Uh, you'll see it there. Uh, it says transaction might never happen. Why? Because, um, well, usually uh, using a minor fee um, secures your transaction from being confirmed. So what I'd suggest, if you want to, you can use the second one. This one will definitely confirm. I have used it before. Minor fee is very low. Uh, it might take three hours or more, even up to five or six hours, but it will eventually be confirmed. So if you're not in a hurry, you can use that option. They also have a more expensive option, which uh, amounts to $6.61. That's up to you whether you want to use that option or not. Right, then you can also receive. Click on receive. It will basically give your Bitcoin uh, address, the QR code. You can copy this. You can share the Bitcoin address with whoever is going to send you the funds. If we go back, you'll see there's a buy and sell Bitcoin option. Um, I wouldn't recommend using these, although you can, uh, because once you use uh, these options, you are basically giving a third party access uh, at some means to your wallet. So let's go back. Well, that's basically uh, the basics. Um, settings, I love uh, the option that it supports my local currency, which is South African Rand. You can change your language. You can change a whole lot of stuff. Exchange source, you can choose where you want to get your rates from. You will see they have uh, quite um, a few options here, which is great. Um, Okay, let's take a look here at uh, local currency. Okay, local currency, you can basically choose your currency. I'm going to put in ZAR, South African Rand, because I'm South African. Uh, we can go back here. Right, uh, besides for that, um, you can create a PIN or clear a PIN code, uh, which makes it safe for people not to access your um, wallet when they have your phone in their hands. Uh, require pin on, on start, I would recommend this so that they can't just open your wallet and have a look what's inside. Um, there's a whole lot of other options. I'll go through them in another video that I'll create at a later stage. Uh, right, we go back here to the balance. So like I said, I changed the currency. You see it still shows US dollar. So once you click on the US dollar, it will automatically change to your currency. So that's it guys. Um, any questions, please comment below. I'll be sure to answer them and assist where I can. Thanks for watching. Cheers.